girly girlies happy new year this might go up on the new year whatever but either way happy new year whenever you're watching this i hope you had a stunning christmas happy new year i am so sorry i think everyone's really looking forward to a new year not that i didn't have a bad year i, I had a great year but i just love a fresh start and there's just so much i want to just let's go let's go let's go i just love this time of year but i am a little bit over christmas now because i ended up i ended up i woke up on christmas day and couldn't get off the toilet for like two hours with an outrageous like UTI, which has turned into a bladder infection. And I used to get them when I was younger and I hadn't gotten one in years. And I was so disappointed in myself. I had just drank my way through December and was just so dehydrated for like the month, to be honest. And I was just totally neglecting myself, neglecting my body, wasn't looking after myself, wasn't really looking after my skin. Like I just was, I was just, too, it was too much going on. It was too silly. The season was too silly. So I'm actually just, as much as I love Christmas and I loved Christmas this year, I am so ready to put the tree down and let's move into the new year. January is always, you know, January is not the best month. It wouldn't be my favorite month, but I'm just really excited for a new start. So I thought to ease us into 2023 and after me just not looking after myself, we're gonna do like all the 2022 products. Most of them I was introduced to in 2022 or beforehand that will absolutely be coming with me into the new year. I will be buying in the new year and they're my ride or die, it's hair. Hair regime, skin regime, makeup, it's a makeup. Going into 2023, these products are here to stay. So maybe you got some Christmas money, you wanna do some shopping, you wanna get into your self-care products. I'm just mad into products that make me feel like I'm looking after myself. I know it's like all like aesthetically wise, physically wise, but uh, you gotta work internally too. But the external is a nice little pick me up sometimes when you're not feeling so great. Like when I was sick, I was feeling, oh my God, my, I actually think it's my period as well. Update on the coil briefly, where OG skin is just having a mare. I'm on an antibiotic for my perioral dermatitis and I'm now on an antibiotic for my bladder infection. So my body was just screaming at me to just like calm down, just stop, like just Stop. just want to go into the new year chill and loving loving my vibes loving my oh i love my shower in there i was gonna film in the shower and do like a shower prop but then i was like no we want to go beyond shower and the sound and everything but maybe i'll bring you into the shower another time <laughs> so anyway tiktok viral products not so tiktok viral products let's just go ahead and i'll link everything below i'm i'm really excited because i could just talk about products forever okay let's go love you we'll start with makeup i feel like is that the most popular let's begin with makeup so i a handful of products here starting off i'm in a war now between the charlotte Tilbury magic cream and the bobby brown enriched face base i used to use this stopped using it saw it again on tiktok tried it again and it is stunning it does feel stunning on the skin it does give the skin a nice glow i feel like this is glowier and a bit more moisturizing but then this might clog my pores. I, I'm a bit torn. I haven't actually tried mixing them, but obviously the magic cream is a lot more expensive, I'm gonna say. I don't know. I think either of them in your makeup bag, you're gonna love them. They're, a, well, people are controversial about Charlotte Tilbury. If you've oily skin, it might be too oily, too greasy. And that's kind of where I'm struggling because with my post pill skin, I'm producing a lot more oil than I used to. And we're going to talk about skincare regime. But either way, I think either of these, I think both of them will stay with me. But I just don't know if I can let go of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's just my favorite base for makeup. Anytime I leave it, I'm kind of like, I miss, I miss my makeup when this is underneath. But is that just placebo? I don't know. But I'm just very attached to my Charlotte Tilbury, you know. I did work for the brand and I've just been using this for a good few years now. I have the Jumbo. They so kindly sent me the Jumbo. So yeah. I, I don't think I'll ever stop using her, but she's like, I'm bringing her back. I'm bringing her back and she's coming into the new year with us, okay? Next, okay, girlies. Sold out to bits. I don't think the blush is as sold out. Hold on, it's giving beauty guru. I don't think the blush is sold out, but the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy and the uh, O Blues. So the blush, the rosy drops, and this is the bronzy drops. They are absolutely divine. I have been using the bronzy drops in mixing with my moisturizer. The rose drops I mix with my Rare Beauty blush or my Pink Gasm. I basically, or on like a no makeup makeup day, I'll put this on, but I love mixing this because it's really iridescent. It's like really glowy. So I find the Rare Beauty, they're not as glowy as I'm used to with Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. So this as a combo is adorable and this gives it that like shimmer 
Whereas I find this is hope and I love hope, but it's a, it's a bit more matte almost, even though it does glow, but you know what I mean? So I absolutely love those products. So they're like, they're skincare products, but makeup, so really cute. So hard to get. I'm just hoping there's a mass production coming that it's gonna be back in stock because I know everyone's obsessed with them. Obviously Alex Earl, I think made this sell out all over TikTok in Alex Earl we love. And yeah, so they are stunning. I got them as minis because I couldn't get, I stupidly had one of them in my bag a month ago in the shopping cart and then I never went back to it and then it was gone. So I got them in the minis. So if the minis are still there, I'm gonna get the minis again because I just can't live without them. I am obsessed and I wish I had these during summer. I wish I had these as my holiday skin. So if you're going on holidays, beautiful. My favorite concealer at the moment is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I have this in shade seven medium. I love this. Uh, at a Charlotte Tilbury Master she was explaining that it's like elasticated, like it's to like lift your face, like spanks for your face. And it actually does feel like that. I know that sounds crazy, but it really does feel like it's lifting the skin as in not physically, but when I apply it and look at it, I feel like my under, like everything just looks like elasticated. I know that doesn't make sense, but I think you understand. It's just for the under eye, it doesn't crease for me, or I love the NARS under eye for no crease as well, or the NARS Raging Concealer in Custard. But this has kind of been my latest and greatest, and I actually need to buy a new one. So I've been loving that one. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I've actually been using it in... Oh my God, this is medium to dark. How did that happen? I thought this was light to medium the whole time. I'm so confused. Okay, so it is medium to dark. I thought I was using a light to medium one. No, I think there must be two on my desk. I think I must have picked up the wrong one because I 100% I was using the light to medium one and actually liked it because the medium to dark went out of stock. So I was using the light to medium. Okay, either way, this wand is stunning. Medium to dark was my preferred color, but light to medium is actually stunning as well. It's just a little bit more gray because it's more of a shadow where the medium to dark is more of a bronzed color. I've confused myself now. Either way, stunning. With five sculpt brow, no questions about it have used it forever and will use it forever. Can't go without it. When I get my brows done by Laura Ward, I'll use just this and I don't need to fill in. When I am filling in, I'll use the Refi pencil or any, any brow pencil, but the Sculpt Gel is stunning. The Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray, I don't know how, but I love it. Like, I don't know why it makes me glow. Like, I don't understand the setting of a setting spray, like how it actually works, but I just do love this one. I always grab this one. I have a few different ones and I always go back to this one. And I, I can't explain what it is. I just feel it does the best job. I don't think I've living, breathing proof. I haven't, haven't slept in my makeup because we do not sleep in our makeup in 2023, girlies. I will not allow it. Your skin deserves better. So try your best, girlies. Um, I used to be a double for it now. I'm like, no, in my drunkest state, I will be in the shower cleaning my face or Sam will be cleaning my face for me. Train, train your bae, train your mum, train your sister, train your brother, train your dog. Someone's got to clean your face if you can't do it, okay? So I haven't fallen asleep with makeup on and woken up like perfect, ready to go because of a setting. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but apparently that's the word on the street is that you could sleep with your makeup on and this is keeping her lit. So I don't know. I can't prove that, but I do love it. And I will keep her, she'll be in my makeup bag for 2023. Lip, oh my God, so new to me in 2022 and come with me into 2023 is the Hourglass Phantom Lip. Um, is that what they're called? The, the shades are Mist and Slip. So we have Mist and we have Slip. So, sorry, I can't roll them up because you can't roll them back down. But okay, so my favorite one out of the two is Mist. Mist is like a really pale pink. I'm a pale pink kind of girly. Like I'm a Charlotte Tilbury Kim K W lipstick. I'm just a, a very nude, light pink, baby pink. And this is stunning. But what went more viral, I'm pretty sure was Slip. And Slip, how I would describe Slip is it reminds me of the color that like if someone just got their lip filler done. So you, if you've got lip filler done, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't and you've seen a photo of someone having gotten lip filler done, they have this like rosy cherry tint. Like like this kind of deeper pink than a baby pink. It's just so pretty. So Mist is my kind of nudie pale pink, but Slip is a lovely like rosy tint to it. And I think that one was more popular on TikTok. There is Haze as well, which is more of a nude brown, but I think it's like a little bit dark for my tones. I always go like a really light pink or light nude. 
But anyway, either way, they're staying with me. They're my lip combo and my iconic new Charlotte Tilbury liner. I left it in Sam's parents' house, but that one forever. That's my lip liner forever. Today, because I've lost that one, I'm wearing Pillow Talk uh, Medium 2, which is also a stunner. I'll, I'll, I'll keep all the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners in my life. I love them. And the Gizoo, 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 oh. I do it every time. It's actually a new one I've opened. Their lip oil is absolutely stunning. See, I, why can't I, I thought I knew how to say this. Gazoo. I love these products anyway. You know what I'm talking about. They're so stunning. Um, the hair products are beautiful. Everything, everything they do is so stunning. And I love them so much. So that's just, even that's just so pretty in your handbag. I just, you know, I love pretty things. I'm like a magpie. Okay, let's move on to skincare, but on lips. We'll start with lips. Laneige. Oh my God, you need these. Laneige Sleep Mask is, I have not had chap lips since using this. Like, it's a dream. And I will always love Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees I have in my car, but this is like at home. I use it night and morning makeup. I'm obsessed with it. Is this the grapefruit one? I actually want to get more flavors. I got this in summer and I've been going through it. So I definitely need to get some more and I love them so much. I'm actually, where do we get these online? I'll find links anyway. And then I got I got both of these in Sephora on away. I got the um, lip glowy balm in Berry. This is a really cute lip balm as well because obviously this is gorgeous, but you don't want to bring that out with you. It's kind of annoying and like you're dipping into it. So the balm is fab for in your handbag, on the go, in the car. I'm just obsessed with this brand. The packaging and everything is just so stunning. We love these. You need these in 2023. The end of 2022 saw my skin going through a bit of a mare. My perioral dermatitis has come back in full swing and coming off the pill and getting the coil, I'm oilier. And I've, I'm getting clogged pores, I'm getting breakouts on my jaw, my chin, and that's okay. Um, but I just wanna keep on top of them as much as I can. I get quite insecure about skin, which is so silly, but it's just one of those things. I'm just a bit, of a perfectionist, I just wanna, I just wanna pop everything, but I, I promise that we're not popping spots in 2023. But let me just show you what I have been using for my skin at the minute. My skincare regime at the minute is really helping. It's really, it, I definitely am seeing the benefits of it and I do think it's reducing my breakouts as much as possible. I started going to Keir Darcy Skin Coach uh, for peels and she just makes me feel so much better about my skin. So the peels are amazing. They're Illumiere peels. So Kira has kind of sorted out my regime for me. So I have sensitive skin. My perioral dermatitis gets so sensitive. If you're wondering what perioral dermatitis is, it is a kind of rash break out around your mouth. I get it all here. If it gets triggered by something, it can be triggered by a few things. Mine really gets triggered by acids, like a AHA or BHA, etc. And uh, I, I got perioral dermatitis because I started getting steroid cream withdrawals because I was w using Sam steroid cream on a spot on my face. So stupid. And it gave me perioral dermatitis. So do not overuse steroid cream. If you are not prescribed a, stero a steroid cream, do not use a steroid cream. Learn from my mistakes because it's the bane of my life. So I have to kind of avoid this area with um, acids and actives. So this is quite gentle and hydrating, but also getting rid of oils. So CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. You know I couldn't go without my CeraVe cleanser, my CeraVe product. You know, throw back to New York with CeraVe, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. If you didn't see that vlog, it's one of my faves, to be honest. CeraVe is just my ride or die. I really love them so much. So CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser, always. I did try the blemish control. Um, and if I'm having like a really greasy period, like I feel like on my period, I'll get really oily. So maybe I'll nip into the blemish control cleanser, but this is my everyday morning and night double cleanse. Oh, I do use it for removing makeup or I'll use the Elemis Balm or Lancome Take the Day Off Balm. But my CeraVe, I love her so much. And I got this big size uh, in New York, but I think they have the big size here. Okay, moving on. So after my cleanse, after my double cleanse, removing makeup and double cleanse, I will go in with the Illumier, Illumier, Illum, Illumier, Illumier, uh, Bright and Clear Solution. I can't remember, is it salicylic acid or glycolic? There is an active in it, like it's, it's your toner, but it's gentle enough for my skin and it's, oh my God, my skin looks like kind of like a, a bit glass-like. There's like a sheen off of it when I use this. So I'll use this morning and night as well after my cleanser. Then I will do a hyaluronic acid, any kind of hyaluronic acid. I'm using the Eucerin Hyaluron Filler at the minute, which is ultralight moisture booster. So that is stunning. You need hyaluronic acid. Everyone can do with hyaluronic acid. It just keeps you really hydrated, really moisturized. And then I absolutely love my Skin Gradients. Skin Gradients Good Fats 
it's just like a really hydrating moisturizer and it's like a barrier moisturizer so we love her because i'm just all about protecting and rescuing my skin barrier because that's how i got all my period dermatitis etc and my spf is lumiere Illumier clear shield but i love the la roche posay anti-hero whatever you call it and hello i don't know but that is my spf at the minute and then these i will keep forever the la roche posay cicaplast the b5 bam and the spray the spray is nice if this is too heavy like i did overload on this and it probably clogged me a bit but it is nice to wear as a mask sometimes like once a week or once every two weeks or just if you have a problem area like broken skin barrier upset sensitive my nose gets really sensitive and so that is really nice for like repairing the skin barrier or you can do it in the spray form if i had to choose i'd probably say the spray because i love a spray and it's a bit lighter so you can spray it all over but this is stunning for like a spot treatment area do you get me and just one more skincare the aquaphor body spray love 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 i love a body i love a body i love a body so that's why hold on shower let's talk shower so hair and shower the lush snow fairy body conditioner i'm obsessed it's an in shower moisture moisturizer i got i thought i bought the wrong thing there it's an in shower body moisturizer so you get out of the shower hydrated. I used to hate feeling like dry after the shower. So you just rub that on in the shower and it just washes off, but you really do feel really soft and hydrated after it. And I love that. So that is absolutely stunning. It smells so nice. And one more thing from Lush is the scrubby for taking off your tan girls. Oh my God. I have one on the go at the minute, but I wanted to show you a brand new one. This is a scrubby and so it looks like chocolate. It's covered in like a white waxy moisturizer. And when you start breaking down into the inside, which will start like on the first wash, you'll crack into this brown stuff. And it's like sand, like coffee sand. I can't really describe it. It's unreal for taking off your tan. It works really well for me. I really love that. So those two products in my shower, love. So that brings us on to hair. I got the jumbo size Olaplex number four, the blue one. So people will say like, this will strip your color, but this isn't stripping my color. This is protecting me from like the water turning my hair green. Like it's keeping my blonde white rather than going green or yellow. So the clarifying is brilliant because Irish water can turn blonde or kind of does turn blonde hair yellow. I don't know what it is or green even. I don't know why it's like hard water. So I have a shower filter on the shower, which I, will also be bringing into 2023. We'll never live without it. I think I actually need a new one, but I love my old packs. I got this, a lot of people asked my Instagram, put it on my Instagram story where I got this. I You can get them online, but I got them in Sally's, you know, salon services. You might know it if you're in Ireland. Fab, love it. That's, that's def, that's making it a few months into uh, 2023. That's coming with, that's lasting. K18 hair mask, also divine. I love it so much. So you put this in, you shampoo your hair and then get out of the shower and put this in, let it activate for four minutes and then dry your hair. But I am just such a conditioner girl that sometimes what I'll do is shampoo and then in the shower, I'll put this in for four minutes and I'll shave, I'll exfoliate, whatever. And then I'll condition. And it's just so stunning. You can feel, even when your hair is wet, it just feels so much stronger. It just, it feels like bouncy. I can't really describe it, but... This is really doing wonders for my hair and for my hair health. So we love her. K18 leave-in repair hair mask. And for styling my hair, I'll put in the Olaplex number six, the Bond Smoother, mixed with Olaplex number seven. I've been doing this all year and I love it. I love that combo. It's heat protectant. Speeds up blow dry time while smoothing. Softly defines and smooths air dried curls. Reduces frizz and flyaways for up to 72 hours. Apply half a pump to damage hair. Yeah, I think I've been using too much because the pump is quite big. Like a lot comes out of the pump. But anyway, this is a combo. But when I ran out of my number six, I was actually loving the Jizu. Jizu? That sounds better. Uh, Prep Me, Prime Me, Define Me. It's a polishing primer. And I love that and I mixed it with the oil. So any kind of creamy primer type product, I love. So they're like my hair styling. In my hair all the time, it's my candy claw clips. I broke one, I don't wanna talk about it, but I did break one. But my candy claw clips, I love them so much. I will live in them forever. You know it, you know the truth. And girlies, smell. We have to talk about smell. 
my combo and I get so many compliments on this and I think combos work best. That's when I get compliments is when I'm, I've worn two products. So the Brazilian Crush, so the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush number 40. This is divine, TikTok viral and for a good reason because it's absolutely stunning. Everyone compliments this when I have it on. It lasts so long, it's still on all my coats, you know, like you can smell it a day later, the next day, it's just stunning. So if you can get your hands on that, I need a new one before I run out because I'll cry, but put it in your hair, it's a hair and body mist. Put it in your hair and your hair will smell so good. It's it's absolutely stunning. And I mix it with, now more expensive is the Santel 33, the Le Labo Santel 33 uh, perfume. I adore this. It's kind of like, it's kind of weird. I think it's kind of weird smell, but it's stunning. And I get such compliments on it. And it's definitely a little bit different. It's a little bit musky. It's a little bit, it's not your fruity, girly roses. It's more like musky. I don't know. I'm really bad at describing scents, but I absolutely love it. So if you ever come across a Lilabo, just smell them because they're really different and they're delicious. The other one is another 13. That's meant to be lovely. Le Noir is gorgeous. There's so many nice ones. I also really want to try Gypsy Water, you know, that brand. But anyway, that is my 2022 bringing in to 2023 scent, 100%. Sorry, I mustn't forget about my new water bottle. I got this in TK Maxx, I'm obsessed. We're starting the new year strong, girlies. Do it with me, you know, let's do this together. And like, it can be in any way you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a full on new, we don't need to change, we don't need a brand new life. Just the little things, just doing the little things for ourselves, looking after ourselves, okay? So girlies, that's everything. I'm gonna do links and names, etc. below. I love you so much. Will you let me know below what your products are, any recommendations, your thoughts. You tell me and I'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you so much. You're my faves. I love you. Bye.